Why, how now, Juliet? Madam, I am not well. Evermore weeping for your cousin's death. What, wilt thou wash him from his grave with tears? And if thou couldst, thou couldst not make him live. Therefore have done. Some grief shows much of love, but much of grief shows still some want of wit. Yet let me weep for such a feeling loss. So shall you feel the loss, but not the friend which you weep for. Feeling so the loss, I cannot choose but ever weep the friend. Well, girl, thou weeps not so much for his death as that the villain lives which slaughtered him. What villain, madam? That same villain, Romeo. Villain and he be many miles asunder. God pardon him. I do, with all my heart. And yet no man like he doth grieve my heart. That is because the traitor murderer lives. Hi, madam. From the reach of these my hands. Would none but I might venge my cousin's death. We will have vengeance for it, fear thou not. Then weep no more. I'll send to one at Mantua, where that same banished runagate doth live. Shall give him such an unaccustomed dram as he shall soon keep Tybalt company. And then I hope thou wilt be satisfied. Indeed. I never shall be satisfied with Romeo till I behold him dead. Is my poor heart for a kinsman vexed? Madam, if you could find out but a man to bear a poison, I would temper it. That Romeo would, upon receipt thereof, soon sleep in quiet. How my heart abhors to hear him named and cannot come to him, to wreak the love that I did bear my cousin upon his body that hath slaughtered him. Find thou the means, and I'll find such a man. But now, I'll tell thee joyful tidings, girl. And joy comes well in such a needy time. What are they, beseech your ladyship? 